Check out the latest releases from Artel W Miniatures. I can bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear, and today we are checking out a bunch of miniatures from Artel W Miniatures. I I really like these. I mean, they are small, but I really like the character they bring uh, to all these features here, and they, they come in really nifty little gift boxes. Like I said in our last video that we showcased a lot of these miniatures here, their out-of-box experience is pretty neat. Now, this is, uh, you know, it's a gift box or a collector's box, whatever you want to call it. But each one is packed up nice and neat with, uh, you know, some brown wrapping paper, but they've got these nice little twine and a, literally a wax seal that enclose each one. Now, on the back, they scribble in pencil what it is or not scribble you know right very uh very tastefully <laughs> what's what's inside the box what's inside the box just so you know so if you never get to actually put them together well hey you can always you know i don't know give them away to a friend as a gift or of course maybe uh retail them out anyhow but to open them up it's actually pretty easy you can kind of just get under the wax seal but at some point you are going to probably need to cut <laughs> <laughs> the twine, unfortunately, and that's a little bit of a, a uh, well, that's not very sharp at all. Uh, a little bit of a bummer, but it's the easiest way to get it open, I suppose. And once we open this up, look at that. Literally wax that has dried. That's pretty cool. I don't even know how much space they have there to lay those all out why the, why the wax itself dries. And then when you open this up, of course, it's a nice little... Artel W Miniatures collector's box right there. Boom. Very neat stuff. Protected inside with lots of foamies, lots of bubbles, and then there's the miniature. Now this is the distaff, which is kind of like a uh, psyker slash some sort of um, visitorial type deal here. I can never Sweet. So we're going to take a look at her and jump over to their site and show you all just how easy it is uh, to scoop up these miniatures. Now, this particular model here, it is a little bit dainty. You know, it is a female model, so it's going to be smaller than a male model. I mean, that's just anatomy, right? But it comes with lots of parts that you have the options of. That's actually a finger right there, believe it or not. <laughs> so got a great fill on the resin cast, which you can see those little... Um, what do they call them? Sprue? Sprue gates or fill holes, whatever you want to call it. But as a miniature itself, you could look east here, get it in focus. And there you can see the detail on it is impeccable. Nice flowing robe and a cowl up there. Down to the fancy footwear, tassels, the folds, all the icons and such that are embedded in the cowl you know it isn't just flat there's actual detail work in there that you can that you can paint so impeccable detail all the way through and through two different heads on this model you can have her holding the staff or reaching for her blaster aka a solo style on her belt and she's got a couple of period seals and such and a couple of different hand poses for that right hand but her left hand is holding her head and there's two different head options where you can get the uh, full-on kind of part parted female hairstyle there or just the pulled back not necessarily in a, any sort of headgear there but uh, pulled back and pushed around front I'm not a hairologist. I don't know what that style is, but I like options and I definitely like this miniature here. Let's jump to their site and take a closer look at this one and some of their other offering. And there it is, just rtelw.com. Very easy uh, to get to. It's going to have a little sliding gallery of a couple different things right now. Uh, I think about the same. You can like them on Facebook and such. Why not? Going over to their store, and then you can see the two newest miniatures that are currently available for order. We haven't got them in here quite yet. 
We just showed you the distaff, which kind of gives you a better idea of just how big, how much detail is there. Of course, she is holding her left fingers up to her temple. There you can see the chest detail on the armor plate or breastplate, I guess you call it, is uh, pretty well done. See all the tassels and stuff that attach to here. And then of course, you've got the extra blaster if you want to go that route, or she can be holding a uh, staff right there as well. So you don't have to attach the blaster, but you can if you want. Gives you a better idea of this particular miniature. Now these uh, are not that bad price-wise, $14.99 for this one. We're going to show you a few more here in a second, like the Savant, who is also pretty cool. Really interesting dude with a mechanical leg here. You can kind of check him out real quick, but he's carrying a bunch of scrolls. Not as many parts and definitely not as many options, just the leg and everything kind of assembles together there. The little messenger bag, carrying some scrolls and crazy, kind of almost Ebenezer Scrooge kind of look, right? <laughs> $13.99 for this guy. And we have a couple of, one other surprise that I don't think is currently available anymore, but we're gonna show it to you nonetheless. And then of course we got the Assassin here, uh, kind of a fresh take on a little bit of a classic. And there you can see all of the accoutrement of weapons, daggers, jumping off a window slash clock. Can't is that clock. $15.99 for this one here. Nah, it could be a window, hard to say. But all of these are multi-part 28 millimeter, kind of not the heroic, but more of the true scale. Now I will show you a heroic uh, scale miniature here in a sec. So there was the, the staff we just showed you. After we got ours together here, we did it the alternate way that they don't show you on the website. Here you can kind of see it does have the blaster on the hip, but has the staff out to the right there might need a little bit of uh, heated water or perhaps maybe a little bit of the heat gun warm water or heat gun will kind of tighten that up use the different head too and not the one that was in uh, the picture there but definitely looks like she's using her x-man powers <laughs> to call for reinforcements or shoot pew pew smite lasers i don't know but check out the detail i mean look at those boots there's skulls on the knees of the boots look at the clasps or the strings inside the boots look at all this fancy patterns on the robes pretty awesome i mean for 15 dollars <laughs> come on are you kidding me right now this is superb detail and, and just a really cool miniature in general that you could use if not just to collect to paint up you could definitely use in uh, some armies out there on the tabletop as well and then we've got the Savant. This guy's kind of cool. Not exactly sure what you could use him for. Maybe some sort of henchman or leader guy or, I don't know, objective piece, storyteller, robot leg mans. But again, superb detail. A little bit of, I don't know, I want to go with steampunky kind of feel to this leg. I like how <laughs> he kind of, I don't know, absentmindedly made his messenger bag kind of hold up a bit of his overcoat so you can kind of see the detail of the robot leg a little bit more because if this was down it'd be kind of equal distant with that thing right there so you really wouldn't be able to tell there's as much of the work in there and then the scrolls look at that detail on the shoulder pad or yeah, I guess it's a shoulder pad some sort of badge of office with the tassels going around and the head itself is exquisite with a bunch of different lenses I guess for looking at things and then some sort of Star Trek Steve Jobs iPad tricorder thingamabobber right there. Maybe he's looking for ghosts. I don't know. All those things put together it makes for a very cool miniature for $14. Doesn't seem bad at all, in my opinion. And then we've got the Assassin. This guy's dope. Jumping off a building all nimbly bimbly with crossbow and sword at the ready and it looks like some sort of other gun of armament in his bag there on his back some extra rounds or extra ammunition or a batman utility belt some sort of 
weapons on its belt, but I mean, look at the detail. Again, exquisite belt clasps. I mean, <laughs> the mask itself, fresh. Like, this is great stuff. $15 for this miniature. Like, okay. <laughs> Deal. This is the kind of stuff that we used to see in stores. You know, you'd walk into a game store and you'd be like, all right, let me pick up a blister pack. $15? Uh, oh, but the special character's got good detail. Okay, fine, I'll buy it. And nowadays, it's like $35. <laughs> you stock stuff like this in a game store, you're going to get some sales. Or, you know, you're, <laughs> you're going to lose some money out of your wallet. And then we've got this guy right here, the Chastener. I don't think he's available for direct sale any longer. We did get a couple of him in. <laughs> the judge dread the judgiest of all dreads this guy is fresh again really great detail trench coat fists shoddy extra rounds knee pads i think he looks very familiar to a lot of you out there of course the alternate head the also the other head that comes with it is right here that's gonna probably jog a lot of memories once you see that one of course a little data tricorder thing that can hang off the belt as well but again for the previous price of $15, although I'm not sure this guy is currently available for sale, I think it's exquisite and a really cool miniature if you were in the market for such things right here. But with the helmet off, he definitely looks very Duke Nukem-y, <laughs> I, would, I would say, if not a little Stallone-y. Maybe not, and maybe not quite as Carl Urbany as we want him to be. <laughs> so that is all of the miniatures I have to show you today from Artel W. Some really great stuff out of Russia. Uh, comes in a timely manner. Packaged great. You know they got these neat little gift boxes or collectors boxes like we already showed you. Exquisite work for the price. You just can't beat it. The quality of the material everything out there i just can't say enough things enough good things about uh, about these folks we've been talking about them for a couple of months now we've had been very fortunate to uh, get these models in and talk about them of course so we have no problems uh, doing so because their quality is so good and their designs are so fresh out there so make sure you check them out rtellwminiatures.com Deleted scenes, bonus content, all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.